always wanted to run Boston. Um, it's been a bucket list goal of mine. Um, that is the cat. Johnny has introduced himself. Day one of Boston or bust. It is Monday, June the 6th. I just got off work and I am gearing up and getting ready for my very first ever official day of training with a coach. Um, some of you may know Nathan Wanich with Run with Wanich and Illuminate Running. Uh, I reached out to Nathan about, uh, I don't know, about a week ago. Uh, mentioned my goal of qualifying for Boston. And it's always been a goal of mine, but there is now a race that is in Huntsville. That is a flat race in September. That is a, I think they actually call it Boston or Bust. Uh, it's a very flat course that runs along a uh, river there. And so I am 14 weeks out, so it's a little more aggressive than um, I would probably recommend. But that being said, uh, we're going to give it a shot. So it's, uh, I think it's like $75 for the marathon. So I figure. Let's uh, see where we shake out. So to give you, uh, I guess this would be day one of this. Uh, I'm going to try to do video documentary of this. But uh, so my personal best to date was two years ago when I ran New York City. And I guess technically three years ago, 2019. Uh, New York City, I ran a three hour and 58 minute marathon and I am 36, soon to be 37 years old. And so I fall in the age group of 35 to 39. And that means that I have to run a three minute and five, no, sorry, three hours and five minutes flat, um, full marathon to have a chance at qualifying in Boston because with the demand being so high, um, you usually have to run a couple of minutes faster uh, to guarantee that spot. So um, I think that works out to just over seven minutes a mile, like 703. I'll uh, confirm that and put that in an updated video. But day one, before my run, uh, today's run is an easy pace, three miles. So I'm going to go for my three mile easy run and we'll update you after the run. So day one is complete. We did 3.15 miles to be exact. Did about, uh, I don't know, 0.15 of a warm-up walk and then did probably a little more than a quarter of a mile cool down walk uh, before and after feeling good um, no real uh, issues on the run uh, 
legs felt good, feet felt good. Um, I did stroll and gym 41.2 miler a few weeks back, and so my mileage has been somewhat minimal since then. Um, I think I've done two, maybe three runs since then, but um, had to give the legs and the feet a little break. But uh, overall, day one's in the books, and uh, I'm doing this to hopefully generate some accountability for myself, as well as um, document kind of what this process is like. Um, I've always wanted to run Boston. Um, it's been a bucket list goal of mine. Um, that is the cat. Johnny has introduced himself. Um, but uh, it's always been a bucket list goal of mine. I've got some friends that uh, ran it last year and again planning to run it next year. And uh, so I think it'd be kind of cool to uh, run Boston. Johnny's cat's trying to make its debut in the corner there. So anyway, um, that's pretty much all for day one. Appreciate you listening. What you gonna do? Stay tuned. Um, my plan is to document uh, any of the exercise days from uh, Boston or Bus training. And uh, I've got two rest days this week. Um, so my next, uh, technically tomorrow would be a rest day. Um, but the next run is a five mile run. And so what I may do is do a five mile run tomorrow and then have Wednesday as my rest day. We'll just have to see how it plays out. So um, follow along, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if uh, you wanna watch me make an effort to qualify for Boston and uh, document the journey. Have a great day.